Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where you need to go and factory reset your Android 11 device and the process is very easy. It doesn't require too many resources. But before you go and do this, you want to make sure that you have everything backed up that you need backed up. So if you went ahead and you know downloaded a bunch of apps and you want to download your bunch of photos and stuff, you want to make sure you do a backup. Now you can do like a Google Drive backup and you can always download Google Photos, which should be pre-installed with your Pixel phone. But whatever device you have, whether it's a Samsung device that just got One UI 3 or whatever the case is, you want to back up everything that you can, the text, the phone calls, the everything. I will make a video eventually on how to do a backup, but you can just search up on Google how to make a full Android backup and then pretty much just follow those tutorials and back up every single thing on your device. You do not want to reset your device before you go and do a backup because then you're just asking for trouble. So once you do have a backup installed and you have a backup of that backup in case that one runs out or goes to delete or something, you want to make your way over to your settings app. So you want to go over here, you want to go wherever the settings are, you just want to go click on it. You'll come to this page and what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find system which is right here. So you can go and click here, you'll come into this page, right? And what you want to do is you want to click advance and right here you'll see reset options. Now if for some reason it's not there, you can always just search for it in the settings app. That's a very easy thing to do. Just click the search button up top and pretty much go from there. So let's go ahead and click the reset options. Now once you're here, you'll see a couple of different options. You'll see reset Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, reset whatever that is, app preferences, and then erase all data, factory reset. So what that option is, the very last one, is means it means that it'll delete everything off your phone, like literally everything. It'll also restore it back to a brand new phone. So that's why I said it's very important for you to have a backup because it's going to delete everything off it. So what you want to do, go and click here. And it'll go ahead and ask you, you know, here's a couple things, whatever. And then you'll go ahead and click erase and delete. And then it'll actually go ahead and delete everything off your device. And then from there, it should take probably like 10 minutes or so, probably a little bit less to delete everything off your device. And then from there, you can go ahead and, you know, give it to somebody or delete it or whatever. However, a really important thing though, is that if you are planning on reselling this device and not restoring it or keeping it, what you want to do is you want to hop out and you want to go into your accounts panel, which is right here somewhere. So accounts and whatever. So once you click on your accounts option, you want to go ahead and click on your email and you want to go ahead and remove this account. Now what this means is basically the activation lock that sometimes some of these phones have when you resell them or whatever. It'll basically take that away so it won't be like an iCloud activation lock or something so somebody else can still use this phone once you factory reset it. So that's another thing I would recommend doing but that's pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.